Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. Three days left till I drive to Germany and today at work it started to become really, really empty and also really, really easy going. What do I mean with that? Well, most of the tasks that I have are finished and the last tasks that I have I can just take my time of them and everything else that I could do is kind of blocked because either customers are already on vacation so I'm waiting for answers from them or people in our own company are also on vacation so things are also not getting passed through. I think there are a few minor things that I can do but I have to yeah like think about them so we will definitely see what will happen in the days. I think I can get through them. It's only Thursday and Friday left and on Friday I'm also planning to leave earlier because I want to clean my apartment and of course prepare everything for my travel on Saturday. For tomorrow also I will be going to the grocery store first of all to buy some things also for my road trip to Germany and second of all to get I don't know things that are typically Swedish that my family or my friends maybe want to try out. But I have no idea what is really Swedish because I think I have already familiarized myself so much with certain things that I don't really know, like, what do you guys not have in Germany? (laughs) I think that I can find a lot of candy for sure, but then difficult. It's really a difficult question. One thing that I can talk about today is I have received the result of my MR appointment in Umeo. So my doctor has analyzed the images and she has yeah, left me a message and said like, hey, the image looks pretty good. You have n- no clear symptoms of any rheumatic arthritis or whatsoever in the joints. You have like a small um, gap or something like this in the left shoulder, which could be like a problem, but it's not something that she said like, oh, it's really, really dangerous or bad. And that is again like this point, I already said the same thing when I got the results from the x-ray. If my doctor is saying she cannot see anything, what does this mean? Does it mean that I don't have any rheumatic disease or arthritis or whatever? Because I definitely have joint pains and also joint swelling and inflammation. So what is it then? I'm so confused, but... We will see. Like when I'm going to Germany, I will boost myself up with my medicine. And then, yeah, if I'm still feeling like right now on this roller coaster, sometimes better, sometimes worse, I think I have to really, yeah, do something about it to figure out what is the case. Why is stuff not working? I will also switch to this MTX injection thing. But I definitely have to talk with the doctor about this after the vacation. Besides that, I cannot tell you anything crazy that has happened. I have already finished my online conference with my friends today. We were finished kind of early because some of them wanted to watch the football game, which is like the semi-final between England and the Netherlands. And one of my friends is currently studying in the Netherlands. I understand that he wants to see it and have some yeah good time with people there but i'm not watching the football thing maybe i will be watching the final i could be still on the road to germany on that sunday evening the game starts at 9 p.m maybe i will however already be done i don't know yet that's also the one of the things i have checked through it's like a 21 hour drive to where i live in germany and then you say like two three hours of charging so it's like 24 hours and if i drive let's say 11 hours 12 hours on the first day i will definitely not sleep till eight again on the second day so i will start driving earlier i really think i could reach my destination in only one sleepover in the car instead of having two and i also don't really know if i want to artificially extend my stay to the south because If I only have like three hours left to drive to Germany, I will just drive them instead of saying like, okay, now I will sleep a whole night somewhere and then drive three hours the next day. It doesn't really make too much sense for me. So, but we will see. Of course, also traffic jams and other traffic situations could definitely extend my way to the south. 
if it's going to be later then maybe yeah, I would like if it's five or six hours of driving left and it's already like 6 p.m on sunday then i will definitely sleep somewhere instead of t driving till 3 a.m in the morning that's not worth it so yeah but now enough said i hope you guys had a wonderful day and we're going to see each other back in tomorrow's video have a good one bye bye